What's going on y'all, Travis here Bass and Habits, and today we're going to go over the Inu rig. It's a new finesse rig that's taken over the fishing world. It's got everybody's attention right now, and I got two ways that you can modify it to catch more fish on it. So stay tuned. Now this is everything you're going to need to make this version of the lure. So right here, you're going to start off with the worm, you're going to fold it up three ways, because it's going to be three entry points of the line. When everything lined up, so your line to go straight through it. So whenever you pull tight on the line, it's going to curl up like an inchworm. So you got to make sure everything gets lined up just right. So I'm using these pop rivets to run through. So you can run the first one through the head of the bait. Stick it in. Make sure it goes all the right way through. Just like so. You can get your second one. Find the second entry point. Which is about right there in the middle of the worm. You're going to run it through. Like so. Have it where it comes all the way out the end. You're going to go down here. Right where the tail is. And put your last one in. Right there on the end, just like that. So you're gonna have three holes all the way through your bait. The reason I'm using pop rivets, I'll show y'all here in a minute. But whenever you pull tight, they're gonna click together, make a little clacking sound, which is gonna attract more fish to this bait. The bait, the fish ain't never seen it before, but it's already gonna attract them. They get a little sound, something to it, it's gonna draw them in even more. Now you're gonna get your line. First, you're gonna get a hook run on top right here. You can run it down a little ways past the first ribbon, run it through, pull it up. The point is to get the eye of the hook with the first hole of the ribbon, get them lined up like so. So whenever your line goes through, they're in the same hole. So now you run your line through the hook. Get to go through the first ribbon. You come through. Go the same way. The way you come in or come out one side, go in the opposite way of the other side. Come through. You're just going to S it through there like a snake. And come through this side and come out. Come into the last one this way. Just like that. Basically what you're going to do is make an 8. So you make an 8 with the worm and then the line's going to go through and make an S. Make it turn to 8. But right here on the end, I've seen a lot of people put little split rings on the end. What I'm going to do is put a little swivel and a blade. So whenever you're popping the bait, whenever the bait's falling, you're going to have that little bit of flicker in it. And when you get the blade tight on the bottom, you can get the line, pull it tight. So you want the worm to be relaxed. Whatever relaxes, it's going to be straight. But right here, you grab the hook point and you pull it. It's going to be like a little inch worm. So whenever you're popping it, it's going to be walking. It's going to be doing this right here, just scrunching up the whole time. And the little pop ribbons. If you pull them, that thing's going to clack together. Just like that. And that blade's going to be flickering the whole time you're popping and you're clacking. Whenever it's falling, it's going to be flickering. And you pull it, just make a little clack. That right there, there's ways that this bait can catch more fish. So if you like the video, go ahead and subscribe to the channel because I do a lot of videos like this. I'm starting to do more videos like this. Been working 70 hour weeks, had T-ball and all that. But right now, things are slowing down, so I have more time to focus on fishing. But if y'all liked it, subscribe. I'm going to do some more videos. Got some tournaments coming up. Just going to do all that. And uh, maybe next time I'm out there, I'll show y'all how this bait works in the water. See y'all then.